Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Guga Bella. On December 2nd, 2017, I released a video entitled South African Natural Hair Products for Low Porosity Hair. It is now 2020 and I have made a few changes. I thought I'd make an updated South African hair products for low porosity hair in 2020. And in fact, these products can be used on other porosities, I'm sure, but uh, I can only speak for what works for me. I have low porosity hair. I have thick individual hair strands. So my entire hair personality, hair type is in the description box below. So you can go take a look down there if you wanna know the details. But basically I'm low porosity and I have thick hair strands and that's pretty much what I base on what I use on English. So let's start from the beginning before I wash my hair. Let's start with the pre-poo. The day before wash day, I drench my hair in coconut oil and deeply finger detangle my whole head. Now, I know for some people, coconut oil does not work. You can use any penetrating hair oil that you want, but research says that coconut oil is basically the best oil to prevent high growth fatigue when you're washing your hair. And high growth fatigue is basically when your hair is constantly swelling from washing the hair because when the water enters the hair shaft the hair shaft swells and the cuticles lift and doing that over and over on a constant basis it damages the hair i know it's kind of like so rude coconut oil is a way to ensure that your hair does not have to experience that much damage from just washing it i mean coconut oil is also full of all sorts of great nutrients it is especially if you get the extra virgin coconut oil you will get all of the vitamins and nutrients that are present in coconuts. You will find that simplicity is a theme that runs throughout my entire hair routine and that's because when mother nature gets involved things tend to become simple and easy and they come naturally. Okay, so now we're getting to the washing. Cleansers shampoos if you will now i last time i think i mentioned on jackie's moisturizing shampoo and at the time i thought it was working for me but honestly it, my hair was still too dry after washing my hair with that product so not to diss that product but i found something that works much better for me there are actually a couple of things that work better for me i have now turned to soap nuts soap nuts for those of you who do not are not familiar they are actually berries that grow on a tree i guess i don't know that contain a chemical called saponin and the saponin is what is the surfactant that comes naturally in this plant so basically i use plant-based shampoo not to sound extra Cape Townian, but I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to know where you can get soap nuts in South Africa, I'll have a link down below. There is an online store. I'm not sure if they deliver to anywhere outside the Western Cape yet. I'm not too sure, but check the link out below. If you Google soap nuts South Africa, you might find other places that sell soap nuts. Um, but yes, I recommend soap nuts 100%. If you have woolly textured hair, if you have afro textured hair, if you have curly, really curly hair, if you have really kinky hair and you're finding that shampoos are too stripping for you, even moisturizing shampoos, even shampoo bars, because trust me, I've tried it all. I've tried shampoos, I've tried shampoo bars, I've tried moisturizing shampoos, I've tried conditioning shampoos, I've tried just using conditioner and nothing really did the job. Soap nuts do the job. They clean the hair and they soften the hair like not, no other cleanser I've used. Another way that I clean my hair is I use clay, namely bentonite clay and kaolin clay. The reason I use two two different types of clay is that bentonite clay is the best clay at removing positively charged ions out of my hair. And the reason I use kaolin clay as well is because kaolin clay removes negatively charged ions from the hair. Both of these clays remove heavy metals, toxins, um, minerals from the hair, hard water, things like that. Both of the clays do that. You want to avoid using metal utensils when using both of those clays. Having both has been a benefit because basically making sure that I cover all my bases and remove everything bad from my scalp and my hair, allowing for healthy hair growth to ensue. Yes, yeah, so I get my bentonite clay and my kaolin clay from a place called Nautica Organic. I'll put a link in the description below. If you want me to make a video on how I use these clays, let me know in the comments below too. I can get that going. You can also wash your hair with apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is a great cleanser. Apple cider vinegar is antifungal, antibacterial. It can help with certain scalp conditions. I do not use 
ACV as a rinse anymore. It was working for me back when I used commercial products, but for some reason, now that I'm fully nature nature, the ACV rinses don't really work for me anymore, but I still use ACV in my henna gloss treatment and in my bent and my clean masks, and it works like a dream. So yeah, yes. after we wash, we treat deeply. Now, for my deep conditioner, deep treatment, I make my own version of a henna gloss. Now, I will probably make a whole video about how I make the henna gloss. I'll show you how I apply it, what it looks like in your hair, the results. Basically, it's a mixture of henna and some Ayurvedic herbs and some oils and some essential oils and I mix it all together with bentonite clay. And this forms a strengthening slash clarifying hair treatment. It's a two-in-one, basically. Don't ask me what overcame me, what possessed me to mix henna and bentonite clay. I think I was on some online forum. I think it was the long hair forum. And it was an old post from like years ago about somebody asking about mixing bentonite clay and henna. And I was like, that is actually quite interesting. Let's try it. And I tried it and I did not regret it. My hair has retained so much more length. My hair has been breaking minimally. Like, I... My hair doesn't break basically anymore. I'm not gonna lie. Like, my hair is in pretty good shape. Henna is amazing. Henna strengthens my hair like nothing else. NB, by the way, if you have low porosity hair like I do, and your hair is protein sensitive, and you've tried using protein in your hair and it just seems to break your hair off, you tried going to Mother Nature for protein, you've gone to coconut milk, you've gone to eggs, you've gone to mayonnaise, and nothing is helping, henna. If you have black hair, and you're worried about the henna dye in your hair, it's not really gonna make a difference. However, if your hair is already dyed chemically or is a light color, be aware that henna will dye your hair a bright red, like a bright red or even like orange, depending on your natural hair color. But if your hair is black like mine, it's fine. Like it's, all it's gonna do is make your hair strong, flexible, pliable, <laughs> soft did i say soft already uh manageable detanglable like it's just henna just will change your life please try it if you want to do a light strengthening treatment a light protein treatment and you're protein sensitive i would go for green tea now yes i've made a whole video about green tea i will link it up there or in the description box if you want to know more about the specifics about why green tea is good for your hair go there but yeah green tea it's good. All you need to do is make a cup of green tea, put it in a spray bottle, or put it in a jug. This green tea spritz can be used on a daily basis, or it can be a green tea rinse, where on wash day, after you're done washing your hair, you rinse it with the green tea. And that's it. <laughs> Moving on to moisturizers and conditioners. So obviously, us naturals are obsessed with finding the best moisturizer slash conditioner for our hair. Personally, I don't use rinse out conditioners. I don't bother with rinse out conditioners. I don't rinse out my conditioner. If I'm going to moisturize my hair, I'm going to keep it in my hair. Like, I used to waste so much time doing deep conditioning treatments that I'd buy on the store, put it in my hair for like a few minutes, and then rinse it out, and feeling no difference so whatsoever in my hair. But anyway, this section is about moisturizer slash conditioners. So, I guess the commercial equivalent would be a hair milk hair spritz, a daily spritz, leave-in conditioner, I guess it's called these days. I'm so out of touch, guys, because I've been making my own products for a long time now, so I, I, I'm, not, I'm no longer in touch with what people call things anymore, but yeah, leave-in conditioner, basically. What I use now is my trusty dusty nettle and hibiscus tea. Again, how to make the tea. You literally <laughs> just make tea. You put some nettle in a cup, put some hibiscus flowers in a cup, Add boiling hot water, wait for it to cool, decant into a spray bottle, spritz it, spritz, spritz, moisturize, seal with some oil, call it a day. This might not look like much, but this makes my hair the softest. This has stimulated a lot of hair growth. The nettle in this concoction made my hair grow a lot, so much over the past few months. Uh, I don't know if you've checked out the previous video that I uploaded entitled um, A Guide to How to Love 
protect the styling for those who hate it you will see that my hair has grown dramatically this year and that is obviously due to the protective styling that I've done but also due to the nettle tea that I've been using and obviously a daily mo a daily moisturizer can also just be green tea like I mentioned earlier so after you moisturize you need to seal your hair up I like to use organic cold pressed castor oil that is my baby that's what I love to use that's what's in here um, I am in love with castor oil it has been the most softening sealant I've used ever of all time just ever and I like to use organic castor oil because again you get all of the nutrients all of the vitamins all of the minerals all of the good stuff that comes naturally in that plant is in this oil unharmed so which means the nutrients are gonna go <laughs> The nutrients will go straight to my scalp and promote healthy hair growth. You can also use shea butter, you can also use cocoa butter. I love my butters as well. I love to make whipped shea butter for my skin. So yeah, the shea butter I use as a sealant sometimes. You can also use grapeseed oil. I have grapeseed oil as well. Again, that's mostly for my skin to use in the whipped shea butters. And the cherry on top of all of these products that I use are Ayurvedic herbs. I love infusing herbs into my oils. Um, here are a couple of jars that I've been infusing for a little while now, for a couple of months. I think the first jar I've been infusing since January, the second jar I've been infusing since April-ish. What I do is, I let this oil infuse and then I add a little, every time I ref refill this little ball of castor oil, I add about two tablespoons of the infused oil so that every time I seal my hair and every time I moisturize my scalp, all the nutrients and benefits from these Ayurvedic herbs will be imparted onto my scalp and hair. And again, promote healthy hair growth. Do not underestimate fenugreek. Do not underestimate nettle. Do not underestimate amla. Do not underestimate hibiscus. These Ayurvedic herbs are perfecto. Research has shown that amla can regrow hair from dormant follicles. There are plenty of anecdotes here on the internet about how fenugreek has changed people's hair like completely um i am one of those people fenugreek is amazing you can infuse these herbs into your oils you can infuse these herbs into your butters and obviously i have all my essential oils as well i'm just trying to remember all the products that i am using right now okay well neem oil i just remembered i didn't mention neem oil earlier when i mentioned oils is something that i use as if it were an essential oil because it is very potent the smell is so strong and it is rich in fatty acids, vitamin E, antioxidants, and even calcium. And topical application of neem oil results in all of those amazing nutrients being delivered straight to your skin, straight to your scalp, promoting healthy hair growth. So do not sleep on neem oil. Neem oil is also great for the skin, but I will make a separate video on what I use on my skin because that's a whole other story. Side note, I've neem oil is also great for lice not that i've ever had lice but if you have kids and they have lice go to your local spice shop and get you some neem oil because yeah so yeah those are all of the products that i use now as you can see i don't use any store-bought products anymore and i do not miss them i have found that mother nature provides <laughs> and that less is more when it comes to my hair care my hair loves simplicity yeah simplicity and just attention to detail and keeping it real <laughs> yeah that's all i gotta say if you have any questions ask them down below oh yes i forgot to mention i get all my ayurvedic herbs and teas from atlas trading company in cape town shout out to them they're really cool this is not sponsored by the way can i just say this whole video is not sponsored like nobody's paying me to say anything great about their company and thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Okay, so now that you're at the end of the video, you made it this far, you might as well click that subscribe button and click the notification bell down below to get notified every time, every single time I upload a new video. Now you don't want to miss that because I upload not regularly. I upload very sporadically. So you pretty much need to be clued in. You need to be clicking that alarm bell because that's probably the only way you'll know that I am posting a new video. I mean other ways you can know that I'm posting a video is to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'm on there too I guess. <laughs> and also click like, click the like button if you like what you saw. And if you didn't like what you saw, don't click anything at all, B. Okay, bye.